Hi everyone, this is Sheena for For the Love of Paper, and I am doing week 28 of the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge. I have some things picked out here. The prompts are a map. You're going to see my terrible tan line because my watch died. Um, a map, something blue, the sun or moon, graph paper, something with legs, and bonus is an image from a magazine. So I'm kind of going because there's something blue and I'm just kind of going with a blue theme. So I have the map. I have this weird rabbits with legs. I have a blue bee. I also have this blue rabbit that's edged. I feel like there was something else in here. What happened to it? Yep. There's this blue flower. I have this like coffee dyed graph paper that's pretty crunchy. And then I'm gonna use this Somerset Studio Magazine to pull something blue themed from in there to go in as my um, bonus item. So I think probably the graph paper is gonna go down first like that. I'm gonna do the circles on the opposite side of these circles. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sit down. I hope you're having a great day. It's, um, I don't have my watch, so I can't look. Almost 7.30 for me on Wednesday because I needed to go run some errands after work. I'm getting close to going on my trip to Bolivia to the girl's home that I go to and I needed to get some supplies. I needed to get a suitcase. Um, so I just went running around, ooh, oops, running around whenever I got off work. But I think I got everything I needed. Um, what I usually do crafts with the girls while I'm there and what I usually do every time I go, which is about once a year, is uh, take supplies for them to create journals and decorate them. Obviously, it's not to the degree that I create and sell in my Etsy shop, but something for them to use and write in or however they want to use it, and they love it. So um, I went and got all the materials for that. I'm thinking I might turn this into a pocket. Kind of just glue the edges in. I could turn it into a side pocket. I'm not sure about that yet, so I'm not gonna completely put it down, but it will have this prompt list tucked in it to some degree. Then I have the stickers and the moon. I think I should look for maybe my image from this magazine first something blue that kind of goes with the bright. I kind of like that. I'll hold my hand there. This is an older Somerset Studio magazine. I think I, I, well, I did just get my last one today. I think you get four and I just got my last one today. This one is from February, March, April. Also, it's not that bad. It was the last one, I guess. Um, but yeah, I did get, just get a new one today. And then I think that maybe I get one more. One, two, three. No, I might get one more. I bought two off of eBay. Whenever I learned about them, I got the two previous ones off of eBay. I really like them different ideas and then it's really fun to pull these pieces out when you're collaging. I really think that's neat. Yeah, I think that's the blue that I'm gonna go with. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of break that seam a little bit. So I can just tear that out and it's just so happened that I got two of this particular one. So I'm not as 
cordy <laughs> with what's in this one because I have two identical ones. So I think maybe I can use my big Tim Holtz for this. I'm just going to cut around this like tag. I can update you that I've been making a lot of stuff for my Etsy shop and I may, depending how much time this takes, decorate um, one, at least one of the journal toppers of the two Reader's Digest. I have the orange and the blue. And last night I spent some time I had already pulled the pages a long time ago. I pulled them all at once, but what I wasn't doing was putting them together to sew them in because I think I've shared, it gives me great angst to sew those pages in. But I did prep, prep them all last night and I have made a lot of other things for in my shop too. And my hope was try to like launch those things before I leave um, but then I'm afraid I'm not gonna have I think I want this piece right here too I'm not gonna have this is actually the other side but it's okay oh well, look at that one I gave up it's okay I have to stop um, I don't know what I was saying well, what I'm afraid of is that I'm going to have to shut my shop down while I'm gone. And that's going to really impact shipping. Because I'll be gone for a week. So I haven't completely decided about that yet. I think I'm just going to tear this because I can use this piece right here for collage. And I will put that in the bin I showed you the other day with the other collage papers. So we have these pieces of blue things. So I can set the magazine back. All right, I don't think I need these massive scissors anymore. Okay, so now that I kind of have more idea what's going on here, a little bit better what's going to happen with these pieces. Kind of like that. Maybe break this up and clean that on top. Yep. This is going to be the pocket. I'm going to have the moon maybe up there. I have this blue B. All right, I gotta start doing something. So let me go ahead and close this off into a pocket. Yeah, so I got, there's 15 girls, so I got 15 journals. There's actually packs of two in one is what I purchased. And then one's a plain cover so that that's the one they can decorate. And um, I'm just gonna put up like a thumb hole here. And I got some different decorative papers, stickers, ribbons. I found these um, Um, like paper clips that have these little things on the top that have cute little like quotes on them at the top of the paper clips so I thought they would like that um, I got them some pencils just trying to think what else I got um, I got 
some glue sticks, just kind of like sequins, like everything that they can use to kind of decorate their cover and then use the journals however they want, whether it's like a prayer journal or um, just like a diary. They can use, do more crafting there because I leave all the supplies that I take behind. So yeah, it just really gives them the opportunity to do something like that. And I love that they love something similar to I like, so. All right, so that's going to tuck in there. Oh my goodness, I got too many things going on. Yeah, so that's gonna be stuck to me. Stick in the pocket, please. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. Over here. No, that's supposed to stick on top. Okay, this needs to go down. Oh, look at the back of that. This one needs to go down first. Then this one goes down on top. And then that one sticks down. Yeah, like that. Okay. And then we can go ahead and put the moon here. This is just a sticker. I already got blue all over me. <laughs> I'm not sure which direction that will go, but we'll go ahead and put it actually more over that way, like that. And then we have the B I'm gonna go ahead and put here, like that. And what else was in this one? This rabbit. I'm gonna put here, like that. You know what? I feel like I had a gem too, a blue gem. Is it in this one or is it any other one? Right here, I didn't mark it, but I know I wanted to use that blue gem. Um, where? Not really sure. I think I am gonna put it right here. And I also have, I think that's the last thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back. Oops, sorry, 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 I'm shaking. Um, I have this blue flower. I gotta get that other big bunt rabbit thing though first, I think, because that's gonna take up a lot right here. Put that there. And then this blue flower. I think you guys figured out by now I'm all about aesthetics, so once I start kind of in a color, that's where I go. I'm actually okay with that there, honestly. I would like something to stick out on there. Definitely not a steak, we can cover that up. Like a butterfly or something. Can you guys see what I see? Let's move this over a little bit. See if I can quick like find a blue butterfly or something similar. And I'm pretty sure I have blue washi that I can finish some of the edging off. I don't like either of those, any of those. Mm. 
I was thinking for a second I had the birds, bees, and butterflies, but that's one I do not have, actually. Oh, that's really nice. Where could it go? I should have thought about that because that looks really nice. Should I, how big is it? No, stick with the plan. Yeah, I'm definitely, maybe this one right here will be okay. Because it has the similar colors. And just break that up a little bit. There we go. Okay. So there's that. I shouldn't need any more glue. I have all my blinds shut today because hopefully that helps. The heat a little bit and um. I also figured out if you clean your fans, they work a little better, if you didn't know. All right, I need to reach to get the glue. I don't want that one, I want this one. Okay, this deep blue. All right, so let's put some washing. Just add a little bit more texture. To this page. We're at about 16, 17 minutes, just rolled over 17 minutes. Um, I might actually Go ahead and put this in the queue because it's already due today and then record. Um, what are you going to say? The journal covers. That way I get them done and a little bit of a I wonder if I can just move that move both can I get both off I can so kind of move that more that way put that down and just fill in that space a little bit better okay and then we have this tucked in there and I should clean that up a little bit the tear roller so it's kind of even. There we go. All right, so we have, oh my goodness, I freaked out for a second in my head. The map's here, something blue. We got a lot of blue. We got a moon, the graph paper's in the back. This grid is also like red graph. Something with legs, we've got a lot of rabbits. And the bonus is our images from the uh, magazine. So that is week 28 of the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge. And I am gonna go ahead and upload this. So if you want to see the videos for me, I'll show you. This, um, so you can see the pages are all in. I still need to sew them. This is, I'm gonna decorate that, collage that to be its cover and collage this to be its cover. I already have the ephemera made. So I'm gonna essentially decorate these two to be their toppers. And that's what I'll do in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you are having a great week. We're midway and I will see you in the next video. Have a good night, bye.